Hey y'all, um, for those of you who don't know, um, we are Kevin and Tiffany Sloan, and we have been, um, we've been going to Cornerstone for about two years. Well, he's two and a half, so about three years. About three years, maybe. Anyway, basically since they started, mm -hmm. we're one of the first ones. What up, Cornerstone? Anyway, um, we just kind of wanted to get up here and talk about basically how we have been getting through the whole quarantine stuff and the whole pandemic that's been going on. Um, hon honestly, yeah, honestly, we've been doing a lot outside. Like, that has really helped keep our sanity. Like, we put some pine straw out, and Kev's trying to get a patio going, and we've just tried to keep our sanity. But the good thing is, is me and Kevin are essential workers. So, we both have been very blessed in that sense that we've been able to keep our jobs um and go to work every day like normal um and i know a lot of people have been laid off due to the pandemic um but people we know have been laid off due to the pandemic so we have been very blessed to be able to continue to work um and um with all this worrying and everything going on because i am definitely a war worry wart um i think kevin can attest to that mm -hmm. um but anyway so all this war worrying going on with everything i um so i listen to this podcast most mornings on the way to work if Sawyer's not screaming his head off um i try to listen to this podcast but it's it's called southland church it's this um church based out of Kentucky um anyway so one thing that he said that really spoke to me was he was basically talking about um if God can provide um what did he say okay I know he said sorry if God he was basically like if God can provide food or water basically and sunlight for all the wildflowers do you not think that he can not provide for you and that was just so true because i was just like here i am over here worried about you know i i thank god i have a job kevin has a job but you know we're still worried about the economy and you know getting the virus because i you know see patients every day and come in contact with them every day and so you know i'm worried about catching the virus or this that and everything else but it's kind of like you know if god can provide for the wildflowers in the field why would he not provide for us he sent his only son to die on the cross for us and our sins so why why would he not provide for us and i think it's just with everything going on in the world i think everybody's just super stressed and super worried about you know where where's their next paycheck going to come from or you know this this that and and everything else but i really 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 honestly feel like if we just put our faith and our trust in god then we will get through this um and it's it's been it's been hard staying in because we can't go to tj maxx and we can't go we can't go to restaurants and we can't do like we want to do but i just i mean to the the one good thing about all of it is the weather we got good weather <laughs> if we don't have anything else we got good weather and when we didn't have good weather we had bad weather that kept us busy outside that's right that's right so so anyway long story short god's got us i mean why are we worried about it because God's, God's got us. If he can provide for the wildflowers, he's going to provide for his children. So, I think that's about it. Unless there's anything else you want to say. Yeah, I'm not really. 
did pretty good right there, though. All right. Well, we hope you guys have a a good a good quarantine in time. Bye bye now.